Good day, Grade 8. Today we're going to take a look at the accounting equation. For Grade 8 purposes, we don't really focus on liabilities. So for today, we're only going to focus on assets equals owner's equity. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the transaction. We're going to decide on the two accounts that are involved. We're going to um, see what type of account it is so that it helps us to know where to write in the transaction. The first transaction tells us that the owner increased his capital with 20,000 rand. So one of the accounts that are always involved is bank, and bank is an asset. Now we need to ask ourselves, why did the business get money? So the owner increased his capital. So it is because of capital. And this is an owner's equity account. So therefore, in effect, we are going to write in the assets, we are going to write plus 20,000 rand because our assets increased with 20,000 Rand. What is the reason for the plus 20,000? Because our cash increased. Then at owner's equity, we're going to show the capital. So again, it's going to be plus 20,000. And the reason for the plus 20,000 in owner's equity is my capital contribution by my owner. The next one says buy a car for 23,000. All right. So again, bank is going to be involved and it's an asset. And what if we buy a car? But a car is not part of our accounting concept. So we need to find an accounting concept. concept and that is going to be vehicles. All right. And vehicles is also an asset. So now we're only going to write in assets. In other words, our assets are now going to increase and decrease. When our assets decrease, it is because, and our reason should be, um, cash decrease. And our assets increase because we bought a car. So our cars are increasing. So vehicles are increasing. When we say minus 23,000 plus 23,000, we are going to get in zero. And this is going to be equal to zero because we did not write anything in owner's equity. At number three, it says received money for working in a client's garden. Right, so we um, are receiving money. So again, bank is going to be my account involved. And why did the business receive money? Because of services rendered. And this we know is an income, owner's equity. All right, so first of all, we know that our cash is increasing. So it's plus 40 at assets. Why did our cash increase? Because we rendered a service. So it's plus 40 Rand. And then we're going to write services rendered income. Or you can say it's current income. Number four says received money for renting out a part of the building. Um, all right. So if we receive money, again, bank is going to be involved. Why did we receive money? Because of rent income. And rent income is an income. Therefore, owner's equity. All right, so in other words, it's going to be plus 450 at cash increase and plus 450 because of rent income. The next one says buy school clothes for the owner's son of 700 grand. All right, so if we buy, it's bank and bank is an asset. Um, why did we buy or what did we buy? We bought school clothes for the owner's son. So now we need to understand that anything that we buy for the owner for his personal use is going to be drawings. All right. Remember that the business and the owner's um, the business and the owner's personal business's bank account is two different entities. All right. So drawings is going to be owner's equity. So therefore, we're going to have minus seven hundred cash decrease minus seven hundred, and it is going to be because of drawings by the owner. At number six, bought flowers to use in a client's garden. All right, so again, we are buying, so it's bank, which is an asset. And now, when we buy something that we're going to use and help us to render a service, we are going to call it consumable goods. And consumable goods is an expense. All right, so anytime that we buy something and it helps us to render a service, and therefore, our accounting equation is going to be minus 350 cash decrease, Minus 350, and it's because of consumable goods, which is an expense. Just remember that after each transaction, that you take a look that your assets are equal to your owner's equity.